The Harvest Show, where faith makes a world of difference. Hello and welcome to today's Harvest. He was blessed to play for Notre Dame and the NFL, but transitioning from football wasn't easy. Braxton Cave reveals how the grace of God empowers each of us to do God's will. And is there a biblical criteria for choosing the people we allow to influence us? Well, Pastor Mark Lance turns to the book of 1 Samuel for some answers today. And it's good to see Mr. Chuck Freebie back with us here yes. on the set of Harvest. It's been, been gone a little bit. Yeah, I've been gone uh, on the road with baseball and the travel mm -hmm. has been, <laughs> it's taking its toll, I'll tell you that. But uh, Is it planes, trains, and automobiles or just pretty much uh, buses and planes? Planes and buses yeah. and, and lots of them. And we'll get on another the one tonight and mm -hmm. head on out to Virginia for a series out there. So I wow. won't be back with you until Tuesday. And you're one year older as a result, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'd like to say happy, happy belated birthday. birthday to our friend Chuck Freebie. Uh, Any words of wisdom? No, we've, we've, oh, there it is. Wow. So, you know, <laughs> nice graphic. They did I nice love graphic. The oh, yeah. music. I'll tell you what, we spared no expense on this. <laughs> uh, the lasers and everything. It's like, it's like right out of a supercut store in the 1980s. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I have no wisdom. I am, I'm grateful for another year. I'm grateful for all the blessings that I have been given, including a family and uh, this employment and friends and, Amen and many that. of them who have mm -hmm. reached out uh, over over the last week or so. Amen, amen. Another person who's grateful is uh, Olympian Simone Biles. Uh, she was on Dancing, she's on Dancing with the Stars this season and just a powerhouse of, of positivity that, oh, that for young, sure. uh, young lady. Uh, she danced the waltz to Chris Tomlin's Good, Good Father and you actually yeah, you brought this to a, our attention the other day. Yeah, it, there's a backstory to that. You know, she grew up, started off in foster care. Her mother um, had some addi addiction issues. Mm -hmm. And uh, so she went into foster care and her grandparents, you know, adopted them. And wow. she danced to Good, Good Father as a reflection of her faith and her dedication. And, to, you know, just to say thank you to right. her, her grandparents yeah. for yeah. being there for her. And of course, um, we know that she is an Olympian. I don't know. I lost count of the medals yeah. she won yeah. um, at the Olympics. But yeah, she danced a good, good father. Just an amazing backstory. Each of the contestants had to perform a routine that reflected something that they had gone in through life. in life. Yeah, yeah. And so, the very end there. And, the, and what a great worship song to begin with. And that wasn't it playing in the background. But uh, <laughs> but uh, at the very end, she came over and just broke down uh, crying there uh, when she hugged her grandpa, you mm -hmm. know, a very emotional moment. And good to see, I mean, that's a powerful, powerful song, you know. Oh, I know. We uh, sing it in our churches. I mean, I've gone from church to church, you know, reporting, doing my work, and that's that song I always hear. Is that a waltz? It was a waltz, mm -hmm. yes, yes. Can and you waltz? I can, that's the one dance I can really? do. Oh, and there is, right. there's a Dancing with the Stars locally <laughs> for the uh, South Bend Center for the Homeless, oh, and I'm wondering why isn't Chuck Freebie part of that group? Because I'm never in town. <laughs> okay. But you do know the waltz. I can waltz. I, box, right, trot, to, cha cha, forget about that. We'll, we'll but put, I can a, waltz. put a good word in with the ED. Oh, yeah, that's just for what you. we need. So. <laughs> All right, to tune in and watch Chuck Freebie on Dancing with the Local Stars. <laughs> now, <Yeah>. we want, <laughs> got a lot of good stuff coming up your way here today, but we want to connect with you. Listen, want to hear what you've got to say. If you've got any prayer requests, you can connect with us uh, through our Prayer Line Center, but social media is great as well Facebook, Twitter, and right here live at lacy.com is the email address to get to our set. World News with the Dancing Chuck Freebie coming up next. On this Thursday, April 20th, 2017, here's what's happening in your world. Vice President Mike Pence praised Indonesia's democracy and moderate form of Islam after meeting today with the president of the world's most populous Muslim nation. As the second and third largest democracies in the world, our two countries share many common values, including freedom, the rule of law, human rights, and religious diversity. The United States is proud to partner with Indonesia to promote and protect these values. 
The comments, though routine, had significance for the Indonesian President Joko Widodo, who a day earlier suffered a serious political setback when a political ally was defeated by Islamic conservatives. The divisive campaign undermined the image of Indonesia abroad as a generally tolerant Muslim nation. South Korea and the United States held a joint training exercise today to serve as a deterrent as tensions mount in the Korean Peninsula. About 100 aircraft, including U.S. F-16 warplanes and South Korean jets, took part in the joint training exercise. The drills are aimed at checking the Air Force's air battle and surgical strike capabilities in an emergency situation. Members of Parliament in the British House of Commons have given their backing to Prime Minister Theresa May's call for a snap general election. May sees the vote as a mandate for her strategy for Britain leaving the European Union. We have effectively a six to seven week period. The British people will get the opportunity to hear the programme that the Conservatives will offer and the, indeed the others and also make that choice about who they actually want as the Prime Minister and who they believe will do the right thing in terms of Britain's negotiations with Europe. This will be the ninth snap general election for Britain since the 1920s. A Soyuz space capsule has blasted off for the International Space Station, carrying an American astronaut making his first space flight and a veteran Russian cosmonaut. NASA's Jack Fisher and Russia's Fyodor Yurchurkin lifted off from the Russia Least launch facility in Kazakhstan this morning. They'll travel six hours before docking at the space station, joining a three-person crew under the command of NASA astronaut Peggy Whitson, who is the oldest woman to be in space. And riot police Wednesday again had to use tear gas to disperse thousands of anti-government protesters in the capital city of Venezuela. Both anti-government and pro-government protesters have been dueling along Caracas streets and squares to show their opposition and support for President Nicolas Maduro. Human rights organizations, several Latin American countries and the United States have accused Venezuelan security forces of using excessive force and violence to quash the protesters. Coming up later, Pastor Mark Lance will have today's connections. But up next, former NFL player Braxton Cave reveals how the grace of God empowers each of us to do the Lord's will. We're right back with more Harvest after this. Hi, this is Stefan Radulich with Feed the Hungry, and I want to encourage you to become a Full Life Monthly Partner today. Why is that so important? Well, because children like these children at the Kiriandongo Refugee Camp come to school every day for a hot meal. For all of these kids, this is the best meal they're gonna have. For many of them, it might be the only meal that they have on a given day of any month. Because of your monthly support, we can make a monthly commitment to schools like this. It takes $6 a month to take care of one child. So maybe today, you can make that $6 a month commitment, or 12 or 18. Or maybe you can make a commitment of $30 or $60. And for doing that, I wanna say thank you and God bless you. Please act now. These children need your encouragement. They need to know they are not alone. Please call 1-877-769-9270 or visit feedthehungry.org to help a child know how good a full life feels. We think of professional football as a glamorous life, the huge crowds in the stadiums and millions on TV watching their every move, but... It is different for every player, and at least one chose to end his NFL career and focus on his faith and family. Braxton Cave is our guest today on Harvest, and I've known you since I started covering you at Penn, well, let's just say a few years ago. A few years ago. <laughs> uh, when you were playing then, I'm sure the NFL was a dream. Did you think it was realistic back then? Honestly, I, I really did. Um, it was always a goal. I, when I was younger, I would, I would write my goals and hang them on my wall and look at them every day. So. It, in my mind, it was going to happen. One, one day it was going to happen. Well, you had a dominant career at Penn. I, I remember several times seeing you steamroll guys. <laughs> uh, and in fact, there's a great story, if you don't mind sharing it. Uh, you encountered a guy. Uh, a guy ran up to you at the mall and said that you helped make him famous. What yeah. happened there? Uh, there was highlights going around, and, and continually over and over on the news, they showed me just flattening a guy. And uh, I saw him at the mall, and he was like, hey, I just want to say thanks for making me famous. I'm like, what are you talking about? He said, well, that clip they keep playing over and over you, that's me that you're the model. <laughs> like, wow. So well, did like, you feel bad about it? or? <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> you were doing your job. Yep, just when, doing my job. When you wrote that list out and the NFL was at the top of the list, 
did you ever run that list by God? I guess I'm asking you, how did you come to faith? Yeah, I mean, so I grew up in the church, grew up at Grange Community Church. Uh, we've been we've been going there since it was in the movie theater. Mm -hmm. um, have a great relationship with the lead pastor, Mark Beeson, and he's always been someone that I've leaned on with my faith along with my parents and, and uh, you know, just aligning my core values with where I wanted to go athletically, uh, it made it a lot easier for me. It probably made the transition pretty easy, too, to go to the University of Notre Dame, a school that was right in your backyard and mm -hmm. obviously a, a place that loves to emphasize the faith. What was the transition like to college life then? Yeah, you know, it was a, a huge blessing to go to Notre Dame, something I always wanted to do. I was named after a Notre Dame football player, um, so, and, and I don't think my mom was letting me go anywhere else. So, uh, great transition, obviously, faith-led uh, university. Uh, it, there's so many opportunities to stay strong in your faith there that it made it easy for me to stay involved. Now, I know at Penn you were involved with Fellowship of Christian Athletes. Mm -hmm. Notre Dame, I don't think, has necessarily an official FCA program, but there were other right. things, a, a, a program, I believe, called Iron Sharpens Iron. Right, yeah, so, I mean, especially during the season, um, we would have our, our men's group within our locker room, and then also on the weekends before games, we would have our fellowship. So, like I said, once again, lots of opportunities to come together and, and enjoy other people with, who are in like-minded walks of life. Braxton was a center, so that guy giving the snaps, good old number 52 when he was at Notre Dame, leading the blocking on many of these plays here. I, I told you, we actually found video of you blocking somebody. Yeah, um, this will please the old line coaches <laughs> yeah. over there. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, Coach Heastan, if he's watching, he'll, he'll be glad we put those ones up. <laughs> so you, you had this great career at Notre Dame. You played in the national championship game in 2012. Mm -hmm. We won't well much on that game. <laughs> no, please don't. Uh, but you get done with your career and and you weren't drafted. Mm -hmm. You had to go the free agent route to the <laughs> NFL. For those that aren't familiar with that, what is that route like? So, you know, going. this is one of the toughest times I've ever been through in my life. Uh, leading into it uh, was projected to be a decently high draft pick. Uh, went to the Senior Bowl and, and injured myself and my saw my stock drop. So, uh, it's an uphill battle from there. Uh, be coming in undrafted, um, you got to look at every day as your last day. Uh, you could go out and have a bad practice, and and what a lot of people don't realize with the NFL is, like you mentioned earlier, it's not all the the fame and glory. It's you know you got your top five percent on every team. Your Tom Brady's, um, those guys sit comfortable, but then there's a, the rest of the lineup who are just fighting and clawing to to make the roster and. And one big mistake uh, could be the end of your your time with that team. So, the the mindset of every day having to go in and know you have to bring it, um, it could be a little exhausting. But it's it's what you sign up for. It's it's that competition. So. What did you discover about your faith during that time? Because when things are going great, it's easy to to be you know this happy-go-lucky Christian. But when things are not so great, then it becomes a challenge. How right. did you respond? So I look at it, the, at the end of the day I played, I lived in five different cities in three years. So at the end of the day, my faith and my family was my only steady constant. So um, being able to dig in the word and, and lean on God. And at the end of the day, I was just, what, whatever you want to happen, God, mm -hmm. it's in your hands. You know, I, for the longest time, I tried to fight it and, and put it on myself and I got nowhere with it. So uh, finally, when I just put it in God's hands, the, the picture became much clearer for me. You finally got your breakthrough. We see you in an actual NFL game here, mm -hmm. uh, wearing the Detroit Lions uniform against the Jets. Mm -hmm. Even though it was one game, what what <laughs> was that moment like? It was great. You know, it's it's like every, all the hard work finally had come together. Uh, it was obviously short lasted. wasn't the career that I wanted. Um, you know, at the end of the day, I, I reached the NFL. I played in the NFL. Um, but I feel like God has different plans for me. Mm -hmm. and, and once I stopped fighting that, um, it's really all come to fruition. And those plans included a beautiful wife and mm -hmm. now a three-month-old baby? Yes, it's been a, a huge blessing um, adapting to the different sleep schedule. Um, <laughs> but no, it, it's been awesome to be home, be around family. I have nephews who play high school sports, so I get an opportunity to see them. 
um, it's, it's been great being home. How, how did you know it was time? I mean, because mm -hmm. I'm sure your wife would have said, you know, honey, I'll support you no matter what you yeah, want to do. How did you know that, okay, it, it's time to, to leave football? Because I'm sure that wasn't an easy decision when this has been on this post-it note that's right. been on your mirror since high school. Right. You know, it got to the point where we, for the longest time, we had two big dogs and then us. So we travel <laughs> city to city. And, and the way that works is when you get released from a team, I would get picked up within 24 hours. Mm -hmm. So wherever we were, I would be gone on a plane and she would have to pack up the house move all the stuff, um, it just got to be a little too much. Uh, the quality of life wasn't there. And at the end of the day, with a baby on the way, I wanted to do what was gonna be best for, the, for my family. And I know that professional sports don't last forever. Don't get me wrong, the money's great. Mm -hmm. um, but being able to walk away on my own terms, healthy, um, and then jump into something new was exciting for me. And, and there were no assurances that you were gonna be able to keep that cycle going, was right. there? No, no, I, I never signed longer than a one-year deal. Um, so that makes it tough, oh, sure. makes it tough, especially in the NFL when there's not guaranteed contracts like baseball and basketball. Um, like I said, you're living day to day. When you come back with us on the show tomorrow, we're gonna talk about how your faith has played a role in your transition now into the business world, mm -hmm. and also how you're sharing that faith with other athletes in the area. But if you want to connect with Braxton, we encourage you to go to our website, harvest-tv.com. It's going to be nice enough to come back for the show tomorrow. <laughs> Guess what? I'll be nice enough to come back for the show tomorrow. That's a new record for me, two in a row. We're back with more Harvest after this. The gastrointestinal tract is one of the most fascinating systems in the human anatomy. It powers the body with energy by converting food into fuel. To keep your GI tract functioning strongly, order the new Restoration Pack by making healthy choices. For just $59.95, you get certified organic inulin, probiotic blend plus, liquid multigels, and mineral concentrate, plus free shipping. To order, go online or call 1-800-965-2345. Your body will thank you. When Jesus gave his great commission to go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature, he was not just speaking to his disciples, he was speaking to you and me. Through the outreaches of the Sea Broadcasting's television, shortwave radio, free Bible distribution, and prayer line, souls come to faith and are saved every day. As a financial partner with the Sea Broadcasting, you too will be investing into the lives of men, women, and children as we proclaim God's word around the world together. LaCie Broadcasting Partners in Faith make it possible for millions to hear the Word of God in over 190 countries. You can be a partner in faith with us for as little as a monthly gift of $25. Your gifts help LaCie Broadcasting bring life, hope, and love into a dark world. Call 1-800-365-3732 and tell the prayer operator you want to be a partner in faith. That's 1-800-365-3732. Be a part of the Great Commission. Here on Connections today, I want to give you this simple piece of advice. Be careful what you look for. I'll take you to the book of 1 Samuel in the Old Testament where Samuel the prophet has been assigned by God to go to the house of Jesse. He's there to anoint the new king of Israel. So let's pick up in chapter 16 and verse 6 where the Bible says, It came to pass when they were come that he looked on Eliab and he said, Surely the Lord's anointed is before him. I want you to get this thought. Samuel, he was in the right place. He was even with the right people but he came with the wrong perspective. As Jesse's boys were lined up for Samuel to examine, the Bible said Samuel had already made up his mind who God had chosen to be king, but he made up his mind based only on outward appearance, only on the attractiveness of that young man. But look what God said in verse 7. The Lord said unto Samuel, Look not on his countenance, nor on the height of his stature, because I have refused him. For the Lord sees not as man sees, but ma for man looks on the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. You see, when it comes to choosing the people with whom you surround yourself with in life, 
You've got to be careful to not use earthly criteria to make a spiritual choice. Samuel was a great man of God. The Spirit of God rested on him, but the moment that he used human wisdom in making a choice of leadership, he missed it. Just because a man or a woman looks like someone who would add value to your life, they may even talk like a great leader. But just because they look that way and talk that way does not mean that God has chosen them to be the ones with whom you partner in life. The people with whom you surround yourself, friend, will either increase or decrease your level of life. They're either going to elevate your effectiveness or eliminate your effectiveness. Your circle of friends will determine how far you go and who you become when you get there. So it's very important that you carefully examine people, not through the eyes of the flesh like Samuel, but rather through the discerning eyes of the Holy Spirit. Look not just on their outward appearance, but look at their inward character. You see, the ironic thing is the young man who God had chosen to be king, he wasn't even invited to the selection party. David was on the forgotten hillside taking care of the sheep, doing what probably no one else wanted to do, yet he was faithfully committed to his job. Sometimes the best looking and the most talented people, they're the least qualified to be in your life. It may be that forgotten one in the field that God has called you to partner with today. It may be the person that no one else takes notice of, but God sees their heart. He knows they will add value to your life. So don't limit your choice to sensual criteria. Be open to spiritual discernment and be careful how you choose the people in your life because they're either going to make you or they're going to break you. Choose wisely and choose with godly discernment. Hello, everybody. Easter, which we just celebrated this last weekend, is a time of forgiveness, a time of life and new beginnings. And this year, I have found myself thinking about forgiveness quite a bit, so I want to share some of those thoughts with you both today and early next week as well. The gift of God's forgiveness can be received through many ways, but it is only through God that true forgiveness is possible. We experience forgiveness through private prayer, corporate worship, spiritual disciplines, and really above all else, it's through communion at our Lord's table. Jesus said to his disciples on that first Monday Thursday, do this in remembrance of me. We meet together having prepared our hearts through confession to celebrate the remembrance of Christ's death and resurrection. We remember his death because he is our atonement. We remember his resurrection because that is our hope, the assurity of our sins forgiven. Friends, forgiveness is God's wonderful gift to freely bestow upon those who ask in sincerity, patiently cultivating the positive habits of a life in Christ. Got Facebook? Follow The Harvest Show. Comment and share your opinions on current events. See new after the show guest interviews. Watch my updates and inspiration from Israel exclusively for Facebook. Facebook.com slash The Harvest Show. Like us today. And beyond social media, you can always connect with us each and every day, 24 hours a day at, let's see, prayer line 1-800-365-3732. Those of you that are watching or listening right now outside the U.S., the number is plus one, five, seven, four, two, nine, one, one, zero, one, zero. Prayer at Lassie.com is the email address for our prayer line center. Street address, 61300 Ironwood Road in South Bend, Indiana, zip code 46614. And if you write or if you send in an email, include a photo with that. 
uh, as an attachment on your email or inside your envelope so we could put that up in our chapel as well. It's great to go up there and see the faces of our friends and partners and the viewers of The Harvest Show. Indeed, Stefan. You know, we have several requests coming in from families, mothers and wives worried about their children or their, their, children or their husbands. And uh, Dee from Hawaii says, my two daughters have left the ways of God. Mm. Please pray that they both return to the Lord and learn to get along with each other. Rosette from Florida says, I need prayer for understanding. My husband wants to take a trip without me, and she's concerned about that. And then another prayer request, please be in agreement with me that my son, who is 32 years old, would reach out and contact me. She's worried about her son. Mm -hmm. You know, God, um, you know, off, the Bible tells us that God puts unity in families. And so that's what we're praying for in the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. Father. Yes, we Lord. pray that you would look on each prayer request, look on each family and bless them. Give them your peace, Father. I pray that these children would return home to the Lord. I pray that this husband would do right by his wife, Father. In the name of Jesus, we cast all of our cares on yes, you Lord. because we know you care about for us. us. It's in the name of Jesus that we pray. Thanks for watching us here on Harvest. We'll see you tomorrow. The Word of God has the power to transform broken lives, but only if we share it with those who don't know the good news. Each $5 you give will provide a Bible to one person. A gift of $5 provides one Bible, $25 sends five, and a gift of $180 provides a case of 36 Bibles to those in need. Pray about your gift and then call 1-800-365-3732 to give today. Do you long to visit the Holy Land, but don't want to travel alone? On a Lassie tour to Israel, you're not alone. Our team of professionals has more than 50 years experience bringing Christians together in the fascinating land of the Bible. You and your new friends will worship together as you sail the Sea of Galilee, break bread in the Garden Tomb, and get baptized in the Jordan River, just like Jesus and the disciples did more than 2,000 years ago. What better way to experience the sights and sounds of ancient Jerusalem than with other believers from around the world? To join us for a life-changing trip to Israel, November 8th through 17th, 2017, go online to lasitours.com or call 1-800-685-3732. Tell the operator to send you a free information packet today, but seats are limited, so don't wait. Call now. Just one visit to the Holy Land and your faith will never be the same. The Harvest Show is produced by LaCie Broadcasting and is viewer supported by people just like you. Thank you for inviting us into your home today.